Is your student using Delta Math? If they're a student in my county, the answer is yes. Every student is using it grades, I don't know, maybe second grade, all the way through 12th grade. I've even seen a college student bring it in. So what I want to do today is show you what Delta Math looks like, talk you through um, how it's set up, show you what it looks like when a student is doing their work, show you what it looks like when a student is not doing their work, so that you can have um, something to discuss with the teacher and with your child. So let's do a quick screen share. Um, first, let's look at the student who is getting their work done. So this student is learning about mean, median, and mode. This is a seventh grade uh, math student. And what we're looking at on the left is a week's worth of assignments in the blue that has already been completed. When we scroll down, these green assignments are from previous weeks and those have been completed as well. When you click on the individual assignment, what you're going to see up here at the top where it says record five of five, uh, maybe it's record five of five, that means that five homework questions were assigned and all five were completed. It's possible that your student has completed these questions after trying them a couple of times. What you will see is over here on the side where it says complete 100%. If your student is getting them wrong, that number drops a little bit, depending on the teacher's settings. Some teachers can create a Delta Math that allows you to try the problem a couple of times, maybe two, maybe three. Some teachers can choose to have it uh, not let you have multiple attempts at all. So keeping an eye on that number is not a bad choice. So there are five questions in this section. As we click forward, we're going to see five more very similar questions, but you can't get to the next one unless you hit submit answer. All right, so now let's take a look at uh, what it looks like when a student's not doing their work. All right, so what we have now is a student in Algebra 1, and you can see that the headings now have gone from green to red. And instead of saying complete, it lists every single assignment and what's going on there. So as I scroll down, um, if we get all the way down here where the student has done 75% of their work, you might notice that the kid has actually gone above and beyond in some of these sections, right? 18 out of 10. What that means is the student did not go back to the table of contents at the beginning and just kept submitting answers. If you don't go back, if you don't you know, know how many problems you have in that section, Delta Math will just let you keep on going. So students might spend a half hour on one section when it could have taken them 10 minutes if they paid attention to the number of questions on the screen. So just FYI, keep an eye out for that. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is that the teachers can choose however many questions they want in the homework section. The previous student had five homework questions assigned for each section. This student has 10. And again, the previous student was a seventh grader. This one is a ninth grader in Algebra 1. But I'm going to scroll right back up to the top here. At the very end of the semester, the teacher assigned an end of course test review with two questions for every topic for the whole year. Two questions is not enough to study. Some teachers assign two or three questions for a regular homework section. Now think about how you get feedback when you get something wrong. For us parents, the answer was you do your math homework on a piece of paper, you go to school and the teacher tells you if you got it right or wrong, and if you got it wrong, you ask for questions. On Delta Math, there's not really that immediate talking to a person feedback that you need. So when a student gets these questions wrong, the best thing to do is have your child write down on a piece of paper what they missed so that when they go back to school the next day, they can talk to their teacher about it and get some reinforcement. Now, that's not to say that Delta Math doesn't help at all. I'm going to click on this top one here, combining like terms. And again, you have to put the answer in to get to the next question. But if you look up at the top here, show example, everything is here step by step. Now, you can't get another example. This is all you get. So it might be worthwhile if your student doesn't understand the solution, like I said, to write it down, bring it in, and ask the teacher for reinforcement. Delta Math is a good tool. It's not a bad tool. It's a good tool, but it can't be the only tool. There has to be something proactive that your student does to connect what they don't understand from Delta Math to what they're learning in the class with your teacher.